Hello! Today's video is about the Siglent SDG5000 Arbitrary Waveform Generator. Earlier, we made a video review of this product series, but there we only showed the basic technical characteristics and functions of these devices. In this video, we are going to show you how to generate an arbitrary waveform signal with the EasyWave original software and Siglent SDG5082 generator. We are launching the EasyWave software. The generator is already connected to the desktop with the USB cable. Using the EasyWave software, you can create arbitrary waveform signals, transmit them to the generator, and manipulate them. Let's create a signal. The name will be set to the default Wave 1. The frequency is 1 kHz, and the length is 16,000 points. There are many methods of generating an arbitrary waveform signal. Let's have a closer look at each one of them. The first, as well as the most simple method, is selecting a preset waveform. There are nine basic presets available in the device. Let's select the meander signal. In order to transmit the selected signal to the generator, press the send wave button. The program will show a window where you have to select a device that will generate the signal, the signal storage location, the channel it will be transmitted through, and the signal name. Press the Send button. The signal will be communicated to the generator through the USB interface. Because the signal is already recorded to the memory of the generator, we will just render it. Let's press the Output button, and here's the meander. At the same time, the parameters of the signal may be modified. For example, let's set the frequency to 1 MHz and the range to 1 volt less or more. This function is quite convenient. You have created a signal and, at the same time, you can adjust the parameters. Another signal generating method is literally drawing a signal with the simple to use inbuilt graphic editor. There are four different instruments available. You can draw either a freeform arbitrary signal, or you can edit a preset signal. For example, let's slightly edit the sinusoidal signal. Now we'll send our new signal, named Wave 2, to the generator, and save it to the second storage location. As the signal has now been transmitted to the memory of the generator, let's render it. As you can see, the sketch I have drawn is the signal I'm getting at the output. One of the most interesting signal generating methods is creating it by a mathematical expression. There are a number of ready to use expressions. For example, I will output the sinusoidal signal. By using the operators provided below, you can set the expression of a custom signal. For example, let's render the modulus of sine multiplied by four and save it to the location number 3. The name Wave 2 is already taken, so I'm changing it to Wave 3 and sending it to the generator. This is how the signal is rendered by our Siglent generator. Another interesting function is that you can make mathematical operations with the signals you have created. You can work either with one signal or with two signals. Let's see what happens if I process two signals. We'll carry out a mathematical operation with the Wave 1 and the Wave 3 signals. There are three mathematical operands available. Let's choose the sum operand. Another benefit of the EasyWave software is that it is capable of conducting offline operations when the generator is not connected. The signal pattern created by the software may be saved to your PC and further sent to, for example, a colleague at a laboratory in another part of the world. The recording can be written to a USB storage device and then rendered with a generator. I'll show you what I mean. I'm saving a new signal with the name Wave 4, the result of the mathematical operation, to our flash drive. Now I'm connecting the flash drive with the save signal to the generator. By selecting the Utility menu, clicking on the Recall Pictogram, 
and selecting the flash drive mode. We can then see the generator read and render the signal. However, first we have to save the signal to a storage location. We'll make it location number 4. The signal is being stored and here is how the generator renders the signal. Also, you can even create signals with a high length of 524,288 points. Let's draw an arbitrary waveform signal. Now let's transmit the drawn signal to the generator. 512k signals may be saved between the 25th and the 32nd location. Let's save it to the 32nd location. Click on the send button to send the signal to the generator. Because the file is considerably larger in size, the process takes about 10 seconds. As you can see, the generator precisely renders the signal. Regardless of the signal complexity, all the details are reproduced correctly. Another thing is that the signals we have created are stored in the non-volatile memory of the generator. Let's recall them. The memory is divided into two groups. The first group is capable of storing up to 25 signals with normal lengths. And the second group may hold 8 signals with 512k lengths. The device displays 4 signals here and 1 signal here so all the five signals that we've generated are available. Let's display the Wave 3 signal. It is being displayed now, so let's try displaying the Wave 4 signal. This is a very convenient feature. Once stored in memory, the signals you need may be recalled instantly for your further use. In this video, we have shown the main features of generating arbitrary waveform signals with the Siglent SDG5000 series generator and EasyWave software. We hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Goodbye and have a great day.